The purpose of this video is to familiarize everybody with Gauss's Law, its common applications, and its common solutions. So we'll start off with our learning goals and objectives. Our, lear our first learning, learning goal is to understand the conceptual basis for Gauss's Law in electric cars. The second learning goal is to know the big picture reason to use Gauss's Law. The third is to be able to recognize when to use Gauss's Law and apply it successfully. And the fourth is just a general reminder that E fields obey superposition. So, if we start with the Gauss's Law, which is more conceptual in nature than you are used to thinking about. Uh, so I will just draw a rectangle here and then fill it in. So this is going to be our little black box. We have no idea what's going on behind it. But what we can do is we can say that uh, there, so this is just a hypothetical situation. So we can have some electric field comes in, some electric field comes out, and if we do that, all throughout this box, so imagine that this is happening in three dimensions and not just on the plane of this paper, it also sort of goes into and out of the paper so that it's a 3D object. So what Gauss's Law does is it's a way for figuring out the electric field due to some charge distribution. So what we remember is that um, electric fields start on positive charges and then they either uh, end on negative charges or at infinity. Um, so if you were to look at this and I was to say that the red was an E field and then I was to ask you if there was any charge behind here, um, and I can do that now. Is there any charge behind here? Make a guess. Also, I will draw another scenario. So imagine that this is a sphere and not just a circle. And then what we can do is we can have E field lines coming in. field lines are coming in on all directions, not just in the plane, but in the full three-dimensional uh, life. So take a second and make a guess if you think there's any charge enclosed here. Is there any charge behind this little black, uh, in this black box? Is there any charge in this black circle or black sphere? So now that you've had a moment to think about it, I would argue that there is no charge enclosed here because the amount of electric field lines that are coming in equals the amount of electric field lines that are coming out. So there's no origin of electric field lines. There is no positive charge that's creating some or negative charge that has them in. Whereas in this case, all the electric field lines are coming in, but then we don't see any coming out. So this is a spot where we would expect so. I would say no here. And here I would say that there is a negative Q because we have electric field lines coming in and ending. So conceptually what we just sort of walked through was the idea of electric flux. Which fight by, it's usually written as phi underscore e, and this is the e field dotted into uh, area. Or, for uh, more complex shapes, we can think of this as the integral over a closed area of e dot dA, 